uh, Chris Dunning Walton, and I'm the director of InfoSec People uh, Specialist Recruitment Business, working in the information security arena. Uh, I was working in the IT uh, recruitment. Uh, industry uh, more generally and in about 2006 it became very apparent that the information security sector um, was a, a very big growth area and a number of my clients were looking for people in that industry and it was a natural evolution really into focusing specifically around information security professionals within a recruitment context at that point. Um, so as of 2007 um, set up InfoSec people as a specialist recruitment business in that sector. So a typical day for us would be um, working closely with our clients to define their needs in terms of the types of people that they would be typically looking for. Uh, we speak and network very proactively within the industry um, and a number of the candidates that we work with are referrals from other people who recommend us um, or we have been put in contact with. So typically it would involve uh, speaking with and networking with information security professionals, um, which actually gives us a really good overview of the information security industry and how things evolve and the needs for certain specific skill sets um, develop over time as well, which has been very interesting. Uh, the best bits of the job. Um, when, uh, if effectively as a recruitment business, um, we are working um, with people's careers. So uh, from a worthwhile point of view, when you find somebody that you might have been working with for five or six years, um, their perfect job, which genuinely changes their, uh, the way that they live, um, both from a monetary point of view, from the actual type of work that they're doing, uh, a work-life balance, um, it genuinely changes their lives. And that's a very rewarding part of my job. Um, it's, uh, we typically place people at the sort of lower to senior management and heads of security uh, arena as well. Um, so I do find it genuinely very, very interesting. Um, hardest area of our, our jobs, um, we work incredibly long hours. Um, so, and the work that we do can be uh, very intense. So it is a very tiring job over time. Uh, but I genuinely really enjoy my job for most of the time. I think I'm very lucky. <laughs> We're often approached by people who want to move into the information security arena from outside. Um, there's a huge amount of interest, um, both from people from IT and the business arena more widely to get in. And, and at the moment, um, that's an evolving um, area. Um, so we, have a, we work with a number of the organisations, the IISP, with Crest, um, and others um, to recommend ways of entering into uh, the industry, be it through cybersecurity challenge, be it through uh, investing in their own training. Um, and it really depends on the individual what would be the right thing for them to do at that time. But it is still a big problem for a number of people trying to gain entry into the industry at this stage. Well, again, it depends on the context of, the, of, of what area they're coming in from. Um, but it's a fantastic time to be in the information security arena as um, the nature of the threats to businesses has um, evolved and um, grown um, exponentially. So the number of opportunities in the industry has also grown. Um, so there are a number of different entry points that, that, that people can transition across into uh, the industry. So um, genuine, ge generally it would be uh, both a combination of research, of um, actually investing themselves in maybe a certification that would allow them to get into the industry. At this moment in time, it's a very risk-averse um, uh, hiring industry. So unless somebody is doing the job right now for a competitor and they can move into that position within the company and start work in that area, a lot of companies are very... Um, are very reluctant to take on somebody who could do it in six months' time with training, but can't do it now. Um, I think that will change. Um, I hope it will change because I think the industry needs people from outside of the industry um, to uh, be able to continue the growth uh, of the people that are required. Um, but at this moment in time, our recommendations are along the lines of certification route, training, um, coming to events like Crestcon and others to really um, develop your understanding of the industry and in turn that leads them down a specific area of interest that they might have that they can invest their time in 
and hopefully join a company which will be able to facilitate their growth in the industry.